And then we're going to close with Thursday's lesson. And Thursday's lesson is a look at a couple points about Ellen White and her ministry in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Some have struggled with the idea, did she have the gift of prophecy? Did she not have the gift of prophecy? And they get all hung up on, was she a prophet? Was she not a prophet? And, uh, oh, I'm not going to believe that because you claim she's a prophet. It's a completely simple solution. Some, and, it's, and it's cleared up with some very simple questions. By the way, some who want to insist she's a prophet, they want to do it because they don't want to think for themselves, and they want the teacher. It's like, Te uh, the teacher said they want some external, external authority they can look to, get a quote, and have the answer. They don't want to actually understand why it's the answer. They just want someone to give them the answer, so they like Ellen White being a prophet, so they can go to the writings and find an answer, rather than understanding the answer for themselves. And, uh, but that being said, it's very simple to clear this up with anybody who has concerns. These simple ask questions. Is, are, according to scripture, are spiritual things spiritually discerned? Which means that we sinful human beings cannot understand the things of God without the Holy Spirit enlightening our mind. So, to the degree any human being speaks the truth about God, it is only possible for them to do so by the enlightenment and the work of the Holy Spirit in their hearts and minds. Whether it's Billy Graham, Martin Luther, or Ellen White, all such writings, including, and we've already read about it, including Ellen White herself, must be compared to Scripture, and we only value them once they're confirmed to speak truth. So the question is not whether she was gifted. That's irrelevant. The relevant question is, does what she wrote harmonize with Scripture? So thus her writings have value to the degree they speak truth, not because she wrote them. And this is where many people, again, levels one through four, well, Ellen White said it, therefore it's true. No, wrong. Ellen White wrote it, go check scripture. Is it true? Why is it true? Now you can value it because it's true. Second point that has caused some confusion regarding Ellen White came up a few decades ago when scholars discovered that within her writings, there are texts that were copied from other sources. This led to the allegation of plagiarism, and this caused a lot of confusion. Well, if she plagiarized, then how could it be inspired? And we can't trust anything she's written. Very, again, simple, so simple. Imagine you had a family member who was dying of a terminal illness. Your doctor said there's nothing to do, and in fact, hospice has been called in. You go online and find a medical journal article in which a cure is described for your loved one's very condition. In desperation, having nothing to lose, you give them the recommended remedy. And sure enough, it works. They are cured and restored to perfect health. Not only that, but over the next several decades, millions of people with the same condition take the remedy described in the journal article, and they are also cured. In fact, it's cured everyone who's taken it. But then, scholars discovered that the author who published it plagiarized it from some other source. It wasn't their original work. What would you do? Would you go, oh, well, guess it's not true. Or would you go... It doesn't really matter the source. The only question is, is it true and does it work? Our gracious Father in heaven, we thank you so much that you are the source of truth. That you are the creator of all reality. And that your spirit that inspired this, this scripture is the spirit that leads us into truth. And so we ask that your spirit be poured out. Let our minds understand the truth, harmonized with your uh, designs that you have built into reality and how life actually works. Help us differentiate from the lies that cause confusion. Help us to be settled into your truth, both intellectually and spiritually, that nothing can move us and that we will be enabled at this time in history when people are looking for real answers to give them answers about our real creator God and how your reality actually works. We pray in your holy name. Amen.